This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Good Times. So here is the deal. Over the last few weeks, we have been tracking some of the best young Indian bands to hit the scene. And with it, we have focused on many genres. Metal being one of them, which seemed to be at the forefront of all things. So then there was a buzz. A rumour, let's say. We had heard rumblings that a certain band from Sao Paulo in Brazil were headed to India. The rumours grew louder and turned into truth. Sepultura were truly on their way to the motherland. So with that in mind, we waited for one of the world's biggest, and I mean biggest, metal acts, Sepultura. Formed in 1984 in Belo Horizonte, Brazil, Sepultura gained popularity. Headed by then frontman Max Cavalera, his brother Igor on drums, Andreas Kessar on guitars, and Paolo Jr., Sepultura quickly became a juggernaut. From their first LP titled Morbid Visions to the critically acclaimed Schizophrenia. By the time they had released Arise in 1991, they were one of the best known acts in the world. Uh, and that's why we're here. You know, otherwise it would be impossible to come, you know. And that's the spirit of Sepultura. We love what we do, you know. Uh, I love to be on stage, I love to play guitar. I love to know new people, uh, new cultures. That's how Sepultura survived, you know, bringing new ideas and bringing new elements to the, to the music, to the lyrics, to, to our point of view of the world. And uh, that's how we grow, not only as musicians, but also as people, you know, as persons, you know. So that's life, you know. Uh, life is not perfect. <laughs> so we, we go along with these lines and, you know, we keep uh, living and learning. Sepultura have always been experimenting with their music redefining their sound from thrash metal to the more organic groove metal sounds on the Roots album. And though Max departed in 1998, Derek Green more than aptly filled in the void, and well, he killed it on the Against album. Well, it's been an incredible journey. Um, it was very difficult in the, in the beginning of joining the band because uh, when a major person leaves any band, it's always hard to rebuild. But it was a challenge and it was something that I was looking forward to and something that's always been happening with Sepultura, conquering you know, different challenges that are put in front. So being in this band, I've learned a lot. I've been able to see a lot of the world and um, I definitely have been able to evolve with the band in a lot of different ways where I feel that we're stronger than we've ever been. <laughs> The buzz had been growing. It was time for Delhi's reputation for being the Bangra capital to be thrown out of the window. A huge queue had lined up outside the Pragati Maidan. And inside, an awesome sound system was being laid out. And once they sound checked, all in sundry, new Sepultura were here. The queue just seemed to get bigger and bigger and bigger and people just kept on waiting for their chance to get inside to see their favourite metalcore act play in Delhi for the first time. He said, yeah, are you going to cry? Are you going to play Chaos City? He said, yeah. I just met him. I shook hands with him. He was great. Sepultura, aka The Tombs, travelled all the way from Brazil. And though this was a long time coming, Delhi finally got a taste of the heavy metal giants. The excitement was palpable. And the moment Derek Green erupted on stage, so did Delhi.